Hi friends, in this video we have talked about something interesting and uh, it helps actually to enhance your website in really nice way. If you have ever designed a website and I am not a very big web developer but I know certain things and what I found is that when I design a website I am provided with the options of um, very limited font types. So if you understand font, it is the way these uh, characters are displayed and some look good on the screen, uh, uh, let's say computer screen or some look good on the mobile screen and some of them look good on the newspaper. So there are a number of fonts that can be utilized to create a nice looking web page. For example, this font can be different from uh, these fonts and this font can be different from uh, any other fonts and you can create a variety of screen using multiple fonts But the problem is that there are times when we want to use more stylish fonts for example We are creating a website which needs different kind of fonts and uh, the standard fonts which are like this is a MIT website and standard fonts that are quite limited in their appeal so they would work fantastic across the web browsers and web pages and all but as and when people are upgrading their computers and bringing and using more uh, new web browsers it is often that these fonts are quite limiting to the work that we are doing so what is the option if i just do not want to use or maybe i uh, my theme of the website doesn't like doesn't match up with the uh, fonts that I'm using. So for that there's something called as Google Fonts. So Google Fonts is a place where a lot of free fonts are available and the best part is that these fonts are delivered directly by the Google on your website. So you do not have to download them on your web server. You can do that but if you do not want to do that uh, they will and you use their fonts the fonts will be delivered by the Google servers to your website when it is loaded by the end user. Let's understand how it works. Okay. So if we search for the Google fonts in any of the browser, uh, you will see the site Google fonts. Just click on it. And inside you will find that there are a number of uh, fonts that are um, available for your use. And these fonts are quite stylish. Some of them are really uh, easier to read and they give a distinctive flavor to your website and if you like any of the fonts so for example I like this Meriwether font and I'm going to use this in my website so how do I do that so I just uh, one more thing to know is that this website keeps changing and uh, by the time you're watching it could be different so but the concept remains the same okay so if I just uh, hover on it, there are a lot of things that I can see. So if I click on the sentence or paragraph alphabets, it will show me how would my text look when I actually use this font into the uh, website. So here is a note that has come, try typing directly into the text field. So let's say I type in hello world. And this is how it will look in my website. All right. And then I can go for numerals and this is how the numerals will look like. And then they are li like a lot of uh, uh, drop downs and customization that I can do. So if I want really bold look in the numerals, I can do that. So numeral bold and then the size of the font. I can increase and decrease using this. Okay. And once I have made this setting, I can do apply to all fonts. That means it is reshaping all the fonts based on my customizing settings so that I can choose any other font which I like. All right. And I don't know where the reset button is. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, I will just uh, click on the Meriwether uh, here. It will take me to the 
uh, detail screen of this Mary Weather uh, font and here you can find information on who is the designer and what this font is all about you can just have a look at it what are the styles available and you must be wondering I mean this is all good but how do I use it so we're going to go there so you can get all kind of information and as you can see uh, it also gives you information of other fonts that would go well with the uh, this kind of uh, particular font. So if you click on this, you can see that the paragraph on the right hand side changes as per the selection. So you can find out which one is best suited for your need and pick it up. All right. Okay. So where is the code? So the co code can be obtained by just going to the top and then pressing the select this font button. So you can see a window has come up. I'll just open this window by clicking on it. And it says that I have selected a font called as the Meriwether and load time is fast. I can even download it. So uh, that means if, an, if you do not want Google to load the fonts for you, you can do it from your own server. While I don't won't prefer it that much. All right. Okay. And then uh, here's the code. So you can use this code like this. Just take it up and go to your web editor. And let's say you want to start a new HTML file. Okay, format it and inside the head just place it like this so now your font will start appearing from the site okay and how are you going to use this so let's say you have a paragraph say hello world okay and this is the text now you're going to now you're going to add the font to the uh, text and how you do that is very simple. Just go down here and it says that use the CSS for following CSS rule. So what you're going to do is copy this once again. So copy this once again and inside the head in the style tag for the paragraph type font font family okay so it's already typed in let's remove this okay and let's save the file as google g font okay and to uh, uh, separate this out from the other uh, normal font let's use a paragraph other kind and okay and give it uh, a class equal to special okay and p dot layer and hopefully it should work okay so only this uh, text would be getting the uh, font from the Meriwether Now let's run this on the browser and check it out. So you can see that the first one is very basic uh, font that are provided by the browser, which is the default browser font. And the second one is actually your own uh, Meriwether font. And that is how we add the code to the website. So when it, so you can see that whenever you are uh, trying to uh, load it on the uh, uh, load your website on the web uh, this font is picked up from the website that is Google API's and then displayed to you but if you're working in a local environment and if you do not have the internet on at that time you might have to download the font and use it in a separate way okay So I hope you like this video and in the second video, uh, the part two, I will be explaining how to customize the 
Fawn Merryweather to include more variety of uh, fawns and multiple fawns and also different styles of this single font and how to use it. Let's uh, wait for that video and thanks for watching and wish you a good day. Please subscribe to my channel and like and share it with your friends. Thanks. Bye-bye.